everybody's like, yeah, that's Japanese. But then when you really step back and think about it, you're like, a giant piece of deep fried pork on bread. You're like, is that Japanese? <laughs> It really helps me out. And uh, you could also smash the like button, mother We make uh, yoshoku, like omurice, katsu-sando, tamago-sando, pasta, and pancake. Japanese fluffy pancake. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna edit, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Hello and welcome back to Eating with Robert. Today we are in the East Village, in an area known as Little Tokyo. It's actually interesting that it's taken me this long to highlight Japanese food. Uh, people who've known me for a long time know that in 2017, I spent three months in Japan harvesting green tea uh, outside of Uji, in a little area known as Wazaka. That was the first place where I actually made videos about food uh, and thought to myself, if I could do this for the rest of my life, I'd probably be happy. And uh, so for that, I owe a lot to Japan. Today we're focusing on Japanese food, but we're not focusing on the typical Japanese food you might think. This is a type of cuisine called Yoshoku cuisine, Western cuisine. I actually think it's becoming a little bit of a, a misnomer because it is so essentially Japanese. Maybe derived from the West, but calling it Western-based Japanese food, at this point is probably incorrect. It, it's as Japanese as fucking Mount Fuji. When I started thinking about Yoshoku cuisine, when I started to think about Japanese food, the first place that came to mind was High Collar. High Collar is kissaten style cafe by day and uh, Japanese whiskey, sake, shochu bar at night. Yeah, kissaten is like a Japanese style cafe, like they sell comfort food. I would say it's between home style and a, like a professional restaurant in between. So, I'm excited to be here in Little Tokyo. I'm excited to eat some katsu. And let's go uh, see what they got going on at High Collar. Ikimasho! That's how you say let's go in Japanese. Okay, we're here at High Collar. We just talked to Yuki-san. And we just saw the omurice and the katsu sando be made. I'm gonna start with the omurice because you have to eat it hot. So we have here their special sauce on top, ketchup rice on the bottom. I know ketchup rice might not sound appetizing for some, but it's really, really common in Japan and it's delicious. Let's just try, uh, you know, let's just get a big bite, eh? Ketchup -y. <laughs> There's something about omu rice that's just so comforting. Like, tomato is a natural source of umami but it's also really, really bright and really, really sweet. I mean, you have just like a perfectly soft omelet on top. The demi glace sauce also adds a level of savoriness. So you kind of have the balance of this like savory sauce, umami, sweet, bright rice, and then soft, pillowy, perfect omelet. And now, the main event, katsu sando. I love it. What's not to love? I'm pretty sure they brine the pork because the pork is very well seasoned throughout. Is this shokupan? Hi. Okay. So this is a Japanese milk bread on the outside, shokupan. I think uh, most of my viewers would be familiar with Japanese milk bread, but it's a white bread made with tanzong to make it a little bit more pillowy, a little more soft. You know what I'm talking about. You got a sweet sauce on here. Black pepper is actually kind of perfect. Like, I love black pepper that you can taste. I mean, like when this dish came to Japan, like, people weren't eating meat very much. Like, the emperor eating meat was like a high level event. That was like trending on like 1870s Twitter. And so it is kind of crazy to think about this as such a quintessentially Japanese dish. Yuki-san just made me some coffee. I also got brought a tamago sando. Usually tamago sando would be kind of like a, an egg salad sandwich, but here they cook it. This tamago sandwich is so good. There's some kind of, it's either mustard or horseradish or wasabi, I can't tell. So Yuki just said it's Osaka style to put mustard on the egg sandwich. Never had mustard on an egg sandwich in my life, but I'm a believer. It's just a real nice like punch, and then you get into like beautifully soft, like perfect eggs, you know? Something really strange happens when you add mustard and Japanese pickle to an egg sandwich, but I highly recommend you try it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things that I've had here. 
I think I came into today expecting that the katsu sando would be like my favorite thing because it's fried pork on a sandwich. But I think actually the egg dishes once again have risen to the top. The omu rice, you know, Yuki said like when you're a kid in Japan, your mom would make it and put like a heart on the egg. It tastes like there's a heart on the egg. <laughs> and then this Osaka style tamago sando, it's just like, I don't know. It's just delicate, you know? Simple things that are really, really delicious. It's kind of what Japanese cuisine is all about. High collar, katsu sando, omurais, tamago sando, and kohi. You gotta come here. Cut. So let's recap. Came out to the East Village, Little Tokyo. We went to High Collar, combination of jazz, coffee, Yoshoku cuisine. For me, it's a nostalgic feeling and it just makes me so happy. Also just stopped over at Mochi Nut. Uh, I've already shot this outro like five times, so I've eaten most of the donut, but I recommend. Very good. <laughs> uh, you know, High Collar, it's moved to a little bit of a bigger space, but I think the soul is still intact. It's still a great Kisaten. Japanese style cafe, a great place to have coffee, a great place to have a snack, and you know, I can't recommend hanging out with Yuki-san enough. If you like the show, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, it really helps me out. This has been Eating with Robert. My name's Rob, and uh, see you next time. Cut. I had a little Japanese for a while there. Basically, my, the, the extent of my Japanese at this point is um, Ipai biru, onigashimasu. Choto mate, nihai biru, onigashimasu. Which means, one beer please, wait, two beers. Uh... <laughs>